stars in women's wrestling on a global scale. Hikaru Shida, one of the very best to come out of Japan. And of course, Athena has called Shimmer her home for several years now. A great high flyer inside the ring. And both of these athletes very quick in everything that they do. This is a first time ever matchup anywhere in the world. Into the wrist lock goes Shida. Had some very exciting bouts against Mia Yim, Nicole Matthews, Mercedes Martinez on our last event. Hikaru Shida, definitely someone who we are appreciative of having available to us for several consecutive events here in Shimmer Women Athens as she is certainly in demand in Japan. Not very many openings in her schedule. But she has been able to uh, make it a point to be a part of the Shimmer roster. And we hope that she's able to do so in the future as well. Right now, grabbing the side headlock on Athena. Sends Sheeta into the ropes. Shoulder tackle takes Athena off her feet. But right back up to her feet she comes. Both women hit the ropes. This time it's Sheeta that goes down and she gets right back to her feet as well. 
Very even matchup thus far, and a handshake. And then gonna hit the ropes again. Athena does. Throws the drop kick, but Sheeta catches the legs of Athena out of the air. And now a giant swing. Round and round goes Athena. Keeping hold of the legs and converts into the Boston Crab now. Sitting all the way back with it. We will have several debuts on our next event, Shimmer 67, particularly on the Joshi side of things. As a true legend of women's professional wrestling for the past 25 years or so, Mayumi Ozaki from Oz Academy will be coming to Shimmer at Shimmer 67. Athena reaches that bottom rope to force a break of the hold. Much like Hikaru Shida, who built her early reputation in the Ice Ribbon promotion. Another Ice Ribbon standout will be headed to Shimmer at our next event. Tsukasa Fujimoto also will make her debut. Shida turning things around here on Athena. And drives her face first into the canvas. Modified version of Nicole Matthews' Vancouver Maneuver. Shida looking to follow up. Maybe thinking about a second one. Athena turns things around though. Front flip chin breaker. Nicely done by Athena. But only gets two. In addition to Ozaki and Fujimoto, the debuts on the Joshi side will just keep on coming at Shimmer 67. As two other veterans will be making their way to Shimmer in the form of Akino and Kaori Yoniyama. Innovative submission hold cinched in here by Athena. She needs to get to the ropes here to relieve the pain. Not quite close enough though as Athena just pulling back on the hold. quite see where she is, but she finally does reach that bottom rope to force a break. Kick right to the midsection of Sheeta. Athena grabbing hold of the arm. Irish whip reversed. Athena into the corner. Running knee strike from Sheeta. And a handspring forearm shot in the corner by Athena. Beautiful head scissors from Sheeta takes Athena off her feet. A great display of the athleticism of both women on that exchange right there. Fans here in Berwyn split in their support as the dueling chants go up. Sheeta trying to maintain the advantage here, pounding away on the chest. And a shot across the back for good measure. Having a hold of the head. Maybe took a little bit too much time as Athena able to shove and shoot it backwards. Drop toe hold, draped across that second rope. Here comes Athena, sliding all the way to the floor. And delivers a kick from that position. Looks like Athena's gonna take a risk. Is it time to go for the O-Face? Has she done enough damage to Sheeta? No, she's back on her feet and takes Athena off the top rope. To the second rope goes Sheeta. Having hold of the head of Athena, maybe to look at a suplex her back inside the ring. Suplex from that position gets all of it. Cover. Athena able to get that shoulder up though. had a fantastic matchup against Kaylee Ray on our last event in the Battle of the Daredevils. Pulled out the victory in that one with the O-Face, that diving stunner off the top rope. A very unique maneuver that you don't really see anywhere else in wrestling. Earfall right there for Athena with the inside cradle. Creative roll up right there as well, but only two. It's the clothesline attempt. One for a crucifix, it looks like, but good show of strength from Sheeta, keeping her on her shoulder. 
into a backbreaker over the knee. Cover. Only two. Sheeta now grabbing hold of the legs of Athena. Another Boston crab cinched in, wrenching back on the hold. Machina fans chanting for Athena to tap. Trying to fight her way through the pain and again inch her way toward the bottom rope here to force a break of the hold. Sheeta doing her best to keep holding the legs of Athena and single-legged crab pulling her further away from the ropes and back toward the center of the ring. Athena doing her best to hang in there. Really wrenching back on the hold, but Athena able to get the bottom rope once again. But how much damage was done to her leg right there in that hole? Snapmare brings Athena to a seated position. Athena with momentum off the ropes. Drop kick right to the back. Going for the cover, pulls her back up, maybe thinking about the three count, that running knee strike. But a head scissors from Athena. She's back on her feet, so is Sheeta. Tuck of the clothesline. And a springboard DDT from Athena, driving Sheeta head first into the canvas. Both women trying to get back to a standing position. Boot to the midsection by Athena. And again, off the ropes she comes. Kick right to the side of the head that time. Neckbreaker. Butterfly suplex, good combination of maneuvers right there from Athena. Not enough to keep Sheeta down for three. Good distinction, that submission hold once again. It was very effective earlier in the matchup. Could it be the key to victory here for Athena? Again, with this hold cinched in, covering the eyes of Sheeta. So she doesn't quite know how close or far she is from the ropes to force a break. All she can do is inch her way in that direction in hopes of forcing a break of the hold. here, and Athena wisely pulling her further away from the ropes, back to the center, and grabbing hold of the chin this time. Sheeta needs to do whatever she can to break this hold by getting to the ropes or somehow maneuvering herself out of the clutch of the fallen goddess. Referee Brian Glory asking if she's had enough. She's so close. And finally makes it to the bottom rope to force a break. Athena back in a standing position. Drives both knees into the midsection twice. Three times now. Doing as much damage as she can. In hopes of pulling out the victory here. One more time. Cover. And only two. Sheeta gets that shoulder up off the mat. Perhaps all of those knees to the midsection were enough to keep Sheeta down on the canvas for Athena to potentially go for the O face or something big off the ropes. But right now she's got Hikaru Sheeta on her back. Athena to the second rope. Went for the senton, but the knees of Sheeta driven right into the back of Athena. And a running knee strike to the back that time. Sheeta getting aggressive here. Falcon Arrow. But Athena able to kick out. Sheeta pulls her up to a seated position. Off the ropes, three count, and the victory. Athena 
Shida able to survive the Falcon Arrow of Hiko and Shida. But she followed that right up with that running knee strike, the three count, to score the win against one of Shimmer's best. And I hope that when her schedule allows that we do indeed see Hikaru Shida very soon. Here is your girl, Shida Peele.